What an amazing week in the world of AI. To start off, OpenAI plans to slash costs by as much as 20 times. Disney releases their own AI bot that has a personality. ChatGPT can now see, hear, as well as speak. Meta has launched an AI persona chatbots. Adobe unveils two new AI products. Eleven Labs takes its company to the new reaches as it introduces a new AI voice dubbing tool. And that's basically just the top of the crop. We have so many more new AI stories that we'll be covering throughout today's episode of AI News of the Week. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. To start off, let's cover the major news revolving around OpenAI as they plan to lower costs to lure developers. On October 11th of 2023, OpenAI had planned to introduce major updates for developers in next month's update by making it cheaper and faster to build software apps based off its OpenAI models such as ChatGPT. Now they stated quote by quote, the updates include the addition of memory storage to its developer tools for using AI models. This could theoretically slash costs for application makers by as much as 20 times, which addresses a major concern for partners whose costs of using OpenAI's powerful models could pile up quickly as they try to build sustainable businesses by developing and selling AI softwares. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Disney has launched its new AI robot, but this robot isn't your typical robot like we have seen with Boston Dynamic or with Tesla's Optimus robot. This is the new Disney AI robot that has a personality like none other. The development was speared by the team out of the Zurich Research Center of Disney. Now it's stated that it was built using only 3D printed parts. Now it's a cute little robot that passes the resemblance of Wally -E or the adorable Star Wars droids. Now it's fully trained in a simulation with reinforcement learning just like OpenAI did with its robotic hand. Now it's stated by the team at Disney that it's part of a longer term push Disney has been working on and it's basically something that they're trying to do to basically push this new sort of style of robotic physics and sensor based motion controls so meaning that it can eventually replicate Disney characters and have them roam around their parks. Now they have started to test these robots out by deploying them throughout Disney parks. Now it would not just blow away children's minds but it would just blow away adults minds too to actually see something like this walking around in a park. Moving forward, Autogen, Autogen, Autogen. This past month there has been a lot of buzz in the AI world as Microsoft has released a new AI model that is a framework designed to simplify and streamline the management of workflows involving LLMs. Now 4 days ago I went more in depth in creating custom AI agents using Autogen and this was a video that I created and I was legit mind blown as I've never seen something like this. I highly recommend that you check this video out as I go more in depth and showcase how you can actually install it step by step. Now the great part of Autogen is that you're able to create as many AI agents as you want and you're able to have them collaborate fully autonomously on a project which is something we've never seen before. Just take a look at this example. Someone was actually able to create a snake game using Autogen in seconds. Usually when you ask a model to create a snake game, it takes very long to set it up as the AI chatbots have no sort of awareness to actually do this. Whereas Autogen does this in seconds. Now it will be interesting to see how they continue to evolve this application forward. ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. OpenAI is now rolling out with the new voice and image capability within ChatGPT. They offer a new and more intuitive type of interface by allowing you to have a voice conversation or show ChatGPT what you're talking about. Just take a look at this example where you can use voice to engage in a back and forth conversation with your assistant. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Start with telling us a little bit about him. Larry was a unique hedgehog unlike any other. He had bright sunflower petals instead of spines. Meta launched AI chatbots. 
Meta is now paying celebrities millions to become AI personas. Tom Brady, Kendall Jenner, and Mr. Beast are among stars who portray Meta's chatbots with different personalities. It's a fun and cool way for you to interact with your favorite celebrities. I'd love to see if they added LeBron's persona. Remember Pokemon? Well, a developer trained multiple AI agents to play Pokemon reinforcement learning. Just take a look at this. Recently, Eleven Labs, the voice AI company, deployed a new AI tool that will revolutionize the way we dub voices using AI. You are now able to convert spoken content to other languages within minutes while preserving all of the original voices. Just watch this short clip that will demonstrate the spoken content being translated into another language. Behold, this magnificent blue jewel suspended in the vastness of the cosmos. Dieser prächtige blaue Juwel, der in der Weite des Kosmos schwebt. Ein Planet von erstaunlicher Schönheit und Komplexität, wo das Leben an den... Something really unique is where a 21-year-old wins $40,000 after using AI to read the first words on a 2,000-year-old papyrus scroll. Now this competition was for people to use modern technology to decipher the secrets of ancient rolled up papyrus scrolls. Adobe Premiere Pro released two new AI functionalities. Firstly, they have incorporated an AI feature, which is enhanced speech to improve the sound quality of your dialogues. And secondly, it's the feature you can see on the screen, where Adobe unveils a new way to add objects and change color in videos using generative AI. And it's also using interactions with text prompts, which is absolutely amazing. As we can see in this video, there is the tie being changed. You can add a tie, change the color of it. You can focus on different segments in this sort of type of video. And that's the amazing thing about Adobe's new AI functionalities. Walmart is joining the AI race. Walmart is using generative AI in many ways, including helping customers find, compare, and customize products, as well as assisting them with complex purchases using voice and text. Walmart is also using generative AI to improve its search capabilities on its website as well as its app. Generative AI can help Walmart understand the intent and context of the customer's search and provides more accurate and relevant results. For example, if a customer searches for the best laptop for gaming, the generative AI can rank the products based on their features, reviews, and ratings so that it can relate to the gaming preference of the customer's basic initial input. Remember that video on Voyager? Well, New York Times had released a new news article on it talking about how AI agents that roam the internet could one day replace workers. Voyager is a lifelong learning agent within Minecraft that continuously explores the world, acquires diverse skills, and makes novel discoveries without human intervention. The agents within the game perform tasks on their inside Minecraft world, accumulating different types of memories and skills. Now, this project was an early sign that the world's leading AI researchers are transforming chatbots into a new kind of autonomous system called an AI agent. Now, these agents can do more than just chat. They can basically create different types of software apps, websites, and other different types of things online. Now, it's coming to become a given fact that jobs will sooner or later be replaced by AI. If you would like to access our private Discord in which you can get amazing subscriptions to AI tools for free, getting collaborations, giveaways, consultation for free, AI news on the daily, definitely take a look at the Patreon page to access this in the link in the description below. 
If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn off notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And that, folks, concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Make sure you turn on the notification bell, subscribe, like this video, and comment anything you want to see in future uploads. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. See you soon.